Welcome to Scholarly Snapshots, the channel that makes peer-reviewed research accessible. We take complex studies and break them down into simple, digestible bites, covering a wide range of topics. Whether you're a student, a scholar, or just someone who's curious about the world, join us as we dive into the world of scholarship together. Have you ever wondered how our brain makes sense of the world around us? How do we organize and remember information in a meaningful way? Well, in this video, we'll explore the concept of schemas and how they affect our memory. We'll also look at a recent study that investigates the neural correlates of schemas, published by Kelsey N. Spaulding, Samuel H. Jones, Melissa C. Duff, Daniel Trinell, and David E. Warren, titled, Investigating the Neural Correlates of Schemas. Ventromedial prefrontal cortex is necessary for normal schematic influence on memory. To start, let's define what a schema is. A schema is a mental framework that helps us organize and interpret information about the world. Schemas are formed through our past experiences and can influence how we perceive, process, and remember new information. For example, if we have a schema for a restaurant, we may expect to see tables, chairs, a menu, and a waiter or waitress. Now, let's look at the study. The researchers aimed to investigate the neural correlates of schemas and how they affect memory. They focused on the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, VMPFC, a brain region known to be involved in decision-making and social cognition. To conduct the study, the researchers recruited 20 healthy participants who underwent functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, while they completed a memory task. In the task, participants were shown a series of pictures and were asked to remember them. However, some of the pictures were related to a previously learned schema, e.g., a restaurant, while others were not related. The results showed that participants were better at remembering pictures that were related to a schema than those that were not. This suggests that schemas influence our memory. Additionally, the fMRI data showed that the VMPFC was more active when participants were processing schema-related pictures compared to non-schema-related pictures. This suggests that the VMPFC is involved in processing and integrating schema-related information. To further investigate the role of the VMPFC in schemas and memory, the researchers used transcranial magnetic stimulation TMS, to temporarily disrupt the function of the VMPFC in some of the participants. When the VMPFC was disrupted, participants showed a reduced effect of schemas on memory. This suggests that the VMPFC is necessary for normal schema influence on memory. Conclusion. In summary, the study provides evidence that schemas influence our memory and that the VMPFC is involved in processing and integrating schema-related information. Additionally, the study suggests that the VMPFC is necessary for normal schema influence on memory. These findings have implications for understanding how we remember and make sense of the world around us. That's it for this episode of Scholarly Snapshots. We hope you enjoyed learning something new today and that our simplified summary helped you understand the research a little better. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.